Hi everyone, this week we will start to formally define the models of distributed computing that we will study in this course. We will start with the simplest and weakest model, deterministic distributed algorithms in the Portnumery model, or PN model for short. Then, in the coming weeks, we will add new features on top of this to define stronger models. So basically everything that we do in this course builds on top of what we discuss this week. So let's be careful to get this right. The idea is simple. Nodes can talk to other nodes through communication ports. The ports are numbered. For example, here we have a node with three neighbors. So it has got communication ports number 1, 2, and 3. So instead of a graph, we have a port numbered network. Basically, the only difference between graphs and port numbered networks is that we have labeled the endpoints of the edges with port numbers. Here is one possible port numbering of this graph, here is another, and another. For each node, you can arbitrarily choose how its internet ports are labeled. And any labeling is fine. You can have edges like this, where endpoints have different port numbers. And you can have edges like this, where endpoints have the same number. Anything is fine. We can draw port numbered networks like this as a graph with port numbers added, or we can be a bit more explicit and represent nodes as boxes with ports, and draw connections from port to port. Both are fine, but mathematically what we have is a structure like this. There is a set of nodes, and a set of ports, and a function p that indicates which port is connected to which. Notice that this function is its own inverse. If p of x is y, then p of y is x. If there is a connection from port x to y, then there is a connection from port y to x. Now, let's move on from port numbered networks to distributed algorithms. We assume that all nodes are identical and they run the same algorithm. A node knows its own degree, that is, how many communication ports there are. So this node here knows it has got three ports. But that's it. Unless we explicitly assume some additional knowledge, all nodes of degree 3 are initially in the same state. There are no unique identifiers. We don't have access to randomness. Each node has a local state. We initiate the local state based on the degree of the node and any additional local input that we might have. Then computation proceeds in synchronous rounds. In each round, a node constructs one outgoing message per port. The message is some function of the current local state and the outgoing port number. So everyone in parallel constructs a vector of outgoing messages. Then in the same round, the messages will move along the edges to their destinations, and then everyone will have exactly one incoming message per port. And now each node can update its state. The new state is some function of the old state and the vector of messages that you received. And this is what we repeat forever. Construct outgoing messages, wait for messages to reach their destinations, update state based on incoming messages. Construct outgoing messages, wait for messages to reach their destinations, update state based on incoming messages, and so on. Some of the states are stopping states, and once a node reaches a stopping state, it won't change its state anymore. And we say that the algorithm has stopped when all nodes are in the stopping states. And then whatever are the final states will be the output of the algorithm. And the running time is the number of communication rounds 
until all nodes have stopped. Formally, an algorithm is just three functions init, send, and receive. Init tells how to choose the initial states of the nodes, send tells how to construct outgoing messages, and receive tells how to update the state based on the incoming messages. That's it. And notice that everything is deterministic. If you run a given algorithm in a given port number network, it will always produce exactly the same output. Good. So now we know this. What is a port number network? What is a distributed algorithm in the PN model? And exactly what happens if we run a given algorithm A in a given network N? But we'd like to be able to apply algorithms in all kinds of networks. And this is where things get really interesting. We will focus here on graph problems, something like graph coloring. We say that algorithm A solves some graph problem X in graph family F if all of the following holds. I can take any graph from the graph family. And I can choose any port numbering for the graph. And I can run algorithm A in this port numbered network, and it will stop and produce the right output. The local outputs of the nodes will form a feasible solution for problem X in the underlying graph. That's it. So now you're familiar with the model of computing, have fun designing algorithms for it.